Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Raynix. And I understand that Virtual Connect just passed a significant milestone. Uh, it, it did. We're really excited. In April, uh, we passed 10 million ports shipped uh, for Virtual Connect. So uh, it was introduced in 2007 and has been well adopted by many customers on a global basis. Um, so that's a significant achievement for us. And, and 10 million ports, what does that, what does that kind of mean? Because, I mean, it sounds like a big number, but, but what's that really mean? Well, it, it, it means that a lot of customers are taking advantage of the value proposition of Virtual Connect. Um, uh, a, you know, a significant portion of the blade system enclosures that we ship today connect to networks using Virtual Connect. And so customers are able to take advantage of the automation, the wire once uh, capability of Virtual Connect that, that really makes customers more agile. Um, it allows them to take advantage of the convergence and consolidation to simplify um, the hardware and reduce costs and save power and energy. I understand that you guys are not resting on your laurels though and um, there's continuing to be innovation happening around Virtual Connect, um, faster connections, and also I think there's something around OneView. Yeah, it, great. Uh, yeah, both um, uh, areas where we're, we're continuing to invest and improve. You know, we, um, uh, a little over a year ago, we did actually did a refresh of the whole C-Class en enclosure, the mid-plane and, and everything with the new Platinum enclosure. And now we're introducing a new Virtual Connect module that allows uh, customers to connect uh, up to the networks with 40 gig, but it also has a unique capability of allowing them to connect, um, have 20 gigabit connections down to the server blades. So instead of having to use two 10 gigabit connections, um, you know, in a redundant mode, they're able to have one kind of fat pipe. And faster is always better, but what, what does that kind of more specifically enable for customers? Well, it's a really good story for, for convergence because in the past, some customers have been really reluctant to put, you know, converge fiber channel and ethernet onto a 10 gig pipe. If they're running 10 gig ethernet and 18 or eight gig, uh, you know, fiber channel, that's, they're sacrificing uh, performance and bandwidth. So this allows them to do that now. Um, and they get the full benefit of, uh, of now Flex 20, uh, the ability to carve up bandwidth and have multiple connections. Um, so it, it really, it, it allows more customers to take advantage of convergence within the uh, Blade System C-Class enclosure. So how does OneView fit into the picture of uh, Virtual Connect? Well, OneView uh, it will be uh, the, the, the going forward way that you manage Virtual Connect over time. Um, uh, and we're, we're happy to say that the new 1.10 release of, uh, of OneView embraces now all the shipping uh, Virtual Connect modules, including the new one that, that I just mentioned. Um, and uh, it really, it also brings in storage. And that's important because now customers that are using Virtual Connect and for instance, three-par storage can really see the benefit of, of converged infrastructure management. Whereas in the past to, to uh, provision storage, you would have had to use potentially three consoles, Virtual Connect Manager, particularly a, a brocade uh, manager, and then a three-par uh, IMC uh, management console. With the new 110 and Virtual Connect, you can now um, use one console to basically import a, uh, a three-par target, carve up the volumes, the, the uh, zoning is done automatically with the Virtual Connect Flex Fabric modules, and then you add a server profile, and you're done. Wow, that sounds pretty easy. Yeah, a lot of steps saved and, you know, very simplified. All right, well, I look forward to see where Virtual Connect is going in the future. Thanks, Ray. All right, thanks. Thanks, Jake.